Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a Minnesota Twins discussion video. I know I've been busy. I'm sorry it's going to be another busy week, but I'll try to get a video out for you. So here we go. Now we've got that covered out of the way in the first 10 seconds. We're going to be talking about Miguel Sano today, my expectations for him on the team, and some stories going around about him, basically what the Twins are going to do with him. So we already know that the Twins already have a couple other power hitters, Tyler Austin, uh, obviously Nelson Cruz, uh, we got CJ Cron, Austin Dillo can kind of hit for power. Um, is that about it? I mean, Garver kind of hits for power. Scope hits for power. A lot of these guys can and more or less hit for power. And then there's Miguel Sano. So you've got these guys who don't necessarily – they're not going to necessarily hit for just contact, but they're not going to necessarily just hit for power. So – they're not a Miguel Sano who's only hitting for power, but there's guys on the team that will step up if Miguel Sano is gone. So we saw this last year. Miguel Sano, you know, struggled early. He got sent down for a while. I mean, we'll go through his stats from last year, and, and it, they were bad. So expectations for this year. Spring training just started. Uh, you know, four days ago, pitchers and catchers reported. The first game is on the 23rd, which is in five days. So we, we're we getting the, we're getting to see these guys in their first couple of workout days. And reports have come in that Miguel Sano is a lot slimmer. He's a lot – he's built bigger now. He's been working out. And my realistic expectations for him are very, very skeptical. The reason being is we've given him chances in the past – and he hasn't done much with it. I don't want to be like, you know, hey, Miguel Zanon needs to be traded or anything like that because he's a good player, but he's been very inconsistent lately, and that's what worries me. So we, we've seen this before. In 2015, when he made his debut, he was a, he was a big guy. Uh, I don't have his weight or anything on here, but he was a big guy. And, you know, he was hitting home runs. He hit, what? let's see. 18 home runs in his rookie year in 2015. So for half a season, because he debuted on July 2nd. So half a season, he hit 18 home runs. And things were looking fantastic. Things were looking good for him. But he also struck out 119 times in half a season. It's not good. So he, he was built big, obviously a power hitter. Uh, and then he slimmed down again. He slimmed down, uh, what was it? It must have been 2016, maybe 2017. Slimmed down. He made the all-star team in 2017, and he was still hitting bombs. You know, he hit 25 in 2016, 28 in 2017, but still striking out 175 times in both seasons. That's not great. Not great at all. Um, so right now we've got a power hitter, but he's striking out so much. And again, this year he comes into spring training, slimming down again, getting more, you know, work, working out more. I don't know what he's... He's done his workout plan in particular, but uh, he's worked out. He's gotten stronger. He's gotten slimmer. Um, and, you know, last year he only hit 13 home runs. He batted 199, 115 strikeouts. And obviously, like I said, we sent him down for a while. I don't know how many games he actually played. Oh, let's see here. 71. 71 games. He didn't even play half a season last year. He did hit 13 home runs. But he also struck out, you know, 115 times. That's just about as many times in nine less games as his rookie season when he only played half. That's crazy. So, that's what I'm saying is this guy, he struggled. He strikes out a lot. I have seen improvements in his in his walking ability, in his eye, where he, he doesn't strike out as much or on, on the pitches that he used to. Um, but, you know, I'm very skeptical about, you know, oh, he's slimming down again. This means he's going to be even better. I just don't know if that I can believe that right now. Because if you look at last year, you know, when he was sent down, supposedly, uh, and he was supposed to become better, you know, uh, in the minor leagues. Let's see, I got his stats from 2018. Like I said, 199, 13 home runs, 49 RB, RB, 41 RBIs, and just under 300 at-bats. At, at I mean, I cannot talk. 
Um, but like his his career stats: 244, 84 home runs, 236 RBIs. He does have two stolen bases. Wow, maybe he'll steal some more bases now that he's slimmed down. But if you look at his last, you know, couple of games, he played three games in the month of September. That was it. Uh, he struck out six times in those three games. He had one hit. Uh, in the last seven games he played, he had two hits, 12 strikeouts. He batted 087. 15 games, he had four hits. He had 23 strikeouts and batted .80. And in the last 30 games he played, which, I mean, he only played 71. So in the last 30 games he played, half of his season, he had 20 hits, batted 190. I don't know, man. I don't know. It doesn't seem like he figured it out uh, in the minors. Um, and maybe that's – I mean, obviously those games – some of those games were before when he went down uh, to the minors. But I don't know. Uh, it, it really – I want to see him do well. I want to see him start hitting home runs, getting back to his all-star form, you know, even better than his all-star form. I just don't know if I can believe it because, uh, you know – Slimming down is fantastic. That makes, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, working on muscle, you know, you're going to be able to run faster. You're going to be able to hit the ball harder. Might not be, you know, farther, but you'll hit the ball harder, which, you know, some line drives in might go out. You know, a towering shot could carry a little bit. You know, I'm not saying you, you know, hit the ball 700 feet now, but, you know, some of those home runs that might go off the wall or, you know, just, just barely scrape the wall, they might be able to get over with a little bit more power. You know, like I said, I don't think he's a bad player, and I want to see him get back to his good self. I just don't know if it's reasonable, and that's what I want to talk here right now. What are his expectations for 2019? Baseball reference says that he will have 400 plate appearances, um, so roughly, what, not even about half a season? Just over half a season, about 100 games is what they're saying. Uh, 19 home runs, 55 RBIs. 42 walks and 134 strikeouts. He had 50 walks in each of his last four seasons, except for the last one he had 30. So 50, 50, 50, 30. He's expected 42 this year, batting average 239, which is lower than uh, the other seasons, except for obviously his last season. Um, so that's that's their expectations. Here are my expectations. Miguel Sano. Well, obviously, we're not going to go pick up Manny Machado. So, I, I expect Miguel Sano to play almost every day. Ostadillo is the other third baseman. But when I think when I see Ostadillo going to third, I don't see Miguel Sano getting taken out of the lineup, either a DHing and, and Nelson Cruz either plays like right field or takes the day off, or he'll play first, which is more reasonable. And I think we'd bench CJ Cron or Tyler Austin or whoever we have first base. Uh, for the day, because um, I don't think Ossadillo would be playing third base that much. I think he'd be catching, or he's more of a bench player, um, if he's not catching, as I'm saying. So, because, uh, you know, I think Miguel Sano is a better third baseman than Ossadillo. So, uh, but that could be another video. I'll probably make another starting lineup video soon. Anyways, I expect Miguel Sano to be playing almost every day, probably close to 130 to 150 games um, easily. I don't think he'll play all of them, obviously, just because, you know, he's he has been injured, uh, injured, injured, uh, he's been injured in the past, he might struggle a little bit, I don't, maybe 130, 140 games probably is his limit, um, probably on the lower end of that, actually, so 130, 140 games, uh, I expect him to hit 25 home runs, if he cannot do that, honestly, I don't know if I'd give him another spot, because, uh, what's his contract? I think we signed a one-year deal with him. Uh, I guess I don't see it on here, but I think we signed a one-year deal with him. He's 25. We've given him chances. We started when he was like 21, 22. So, you know, he's 25, 26 this year. He's getting to that spot where if he's just not producing. We can't be holding on to him. If he doesn't hit 20, 25 home runs, probably closer to the 25 mark, I would consider cutting him, especially because he's not going to hit for average. Like I'm saying, he's only a power hitter. He can hit doubles. He can hit singles, sharp singles. But 25 home runs is probably where I'm putting him at at least. Like that's that's his mark. Um, if he can get up to 30, 35, now we're talking good numbers. Uh, but 25 is the mark for me. Strikeouts got to be under 120. If the, you know, obviously the lower the number, the greater. 
But, you know, 120, that is too many. Too many. I want to see at least 60 walks, 120 strikeouts. That, obviously, a 2-to-1 ratio. I don't think that's unreasonable. OBP, 350. And I'm very, I think he can do it. If he bats 275, 260 to 275, 265, somewhere in that range, and 350 on base percentage, and he's hitting, you know, the 25 home runs, this is a star player. This is a guy who we could see on the all-star team easily. But that's my expectations for him. I don't think they're unreasonable. You know, he is a good player, like I continue to say. It's just he's got to get that one breakthrough. He's got to break through and stay consistent. Um, so one more time, I'll go through that. I expect him to play about 130-ish games. He'll have roughly 25 home runs. Let's go 70 RBIs. Uh, 60 walks, 120 strikeouts, OBP about three. Uh, or excuse me, batting average about 265. I think that would be good. 260, 265, 270, somewhere in there. Uh, OBP 350, and I think you know he could be an All Star. So those are my expectations for him. If you know he is what he is saying he is, but again, I'm very skeptical about it because of what we've seen in the past. Uh, but let me know what your expectations are. You know, if you want to give me, you know, the batting average, on base percentage, home run, strikeout, walk. Give me all that in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. We can compare answers and, you know, have a discussion about it. So that's my that's my take on it. I do think Miguel Sano will have another good year. It's just, is he going to have another good enough year where we are going to keep offering him a contract? Because Austin Dillo can play third. And if, he, you know, if he's not playing catcher, he can play third. Or, you know, we can go pick up a Manny Machado kind of player. Um, you know, somebody like Manny Machado who can play third. Who's good? Josh Donaldson. I don't know. That's just a that's just a wild guess. But you know, it depends on how he does this year. And if he doesn't hit my expectations, I think that's you know where he probably should be at this point in the majors. Sorry, as much as it hate I hate to say it, I think we would have to cut him. So, or or at least you know obviously trade for him because I think we could get some some something for him. So that's my take on it. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below. But that's all I got for you today. Come back tomorrow, or I hope there will be a video tomorrow, and we can talk about more Minnesota Twins discussion video stuff then. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.